Hi, and welcome to our short introduction video with a few points of what you need to look into when you buy your first pair of fitness inline skates. First of all, it's a very fun and alternative way to get some exercise. It's smile for your joints because you have these long, soft movements. It's even doctor recommended if you're struggling with a knee injury. They're known for their good fitting and nice comfort, and they can be used in all ages from small children to elderly people. When it comes to wheel size, you have some different options. If you're looking for a fitness skate, you can use it for a longer ride. It's a good idea to take 90 millimeters or 100 or even 110 millimeters. The reason for this is the bigger the wheel, the easier it is to maintain the speed and you use less energy on that ride. If you want a more maneuverable skate you can use in the city or for shorter distance, it's a good idea to take 80 to 84 millimeter wheels. The reason for this is that it's easier to turn and easier to stop. Inside the wheel, there is something called a bearing. The bearing is the component which makes the wheel turn and you have different options when choosing bearings. The short version is you have something called an apex scale. An apex scale defines how much resistance there is in the bearing and the less resistance, the easier it spins. And it goes from 1 to 9 and the higher the number, the less resistance. Choosing size can be a bit tricky. We recommend that you always go to a website and check the individual sizing guide for each product but the rule of thumb is that you can choose one size bigger than your regular shoe size. The reason for this is that you need to have some space for your toes to wiggle because your feet will expand when they get warm. A good idea is to try them on in your living room for 10 or 15 minutes. If they still hurt afterwards, they're probably too small. Fitness inlines comes with two different kinds of boots. We have the soft boot, which is very nice ventilated and very comfortable. And we have the hard boot, which offers a bit more control and stability. Most fitness inlines comes with a brake. A brake can be dismounted or even changed to the other foot if you want to. The brake pad will wear down after some time, so we recommend that you buy a few extra already from the beginning. So this was our short guide uh, with a few points of what you need to look into when you buy your first pair of fitness inline skates. There are three main points you need to remember. Think about which wheel size you want, if you want a soft boot or a hard boot, and remember, always take one size bigger than your regular shoe size. But always remember, safety first.